it's me, Aiden and Apple here, and today we're going to do another Prophet story. This one is going to be about prophethood. So without further ado, let's begin. After the frost flood, Prophet New Peace upon him and his followers began a new life. Prophet New Peace upon his children, Sam, Ham, and Yatisi were all married and had children of their own. Many a prophet new speech upon him, descendants built houses around Mount Judi and lived there. As time passed by, some of them moved away and began new lives in Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Yemen, and India. Among Prophet Hud's peace upon him descendants were the people of Ad. Ad was the great grandson of Sam bin Nu. The people of Ad lived in Akkaf and were very hard working people. They planted crops and reared animals such as camels, cows, and goats. As a result of their hard work, they became very rich. The wealth and power made them boastful and proud. After the death of Prophet Nu, peace upon him, the people of Ad slowly began to leave the Prophet's teachings. They no longer worshipped Allah or prayed to him. They became disbelievers and prayed to the idols. They believed the idols could bring them happiness. The idols were Samad, Samud, and Hir. Allah sent Prophet Hud peace upon him to the people of Ad to guide them back to the path of Allah. Prophet Hud peace be upon him was appointed as a prophet and a messenger of Allah. When he was 40 years old, Prophet Hud peace be upon him was sent to the people of Ad to guide them to the right path and return to Allah. All your wealth was given to you by Allah. Therefore, it is he that you should worship and not these powerless idols. And to the people of Ad we sent their brother Hud. He said, O oh my people, worship Allah. You have no deity other than him. Then you not f fear him? Surah al araf verse 65. Prophet Hud, peace be upon him, then told the people of Ad about the judgment day. He told them to ask forgiveness from Allah. The people of Ad laughed at him. They believed after death, their body would turn into dust and they would be swept away. They did not believe in the judgment day. The people of Ad did not like Prophet Hud peace be upon him teachings and always insulted him. However, Prophet Hud peace be upon him did not give up and continued to spread his teachings. He traveled from one village to another to preach to the people and guide them to the path of Allah. Prophet Hud peace be upon him warned the disbelievers that a disaster would befall them if they did not return to Allah. He told them of the heat flood that had drowned the disbelievers during Prophet Nu's peace upon them time. The group of disbelievers were led by a man named the Ham. The Ham was strongly against Prophet Hud peace upon him and his teachings. As mentioned in the Al Quran, the Ham said to the Prophet, They said, O oh Hud, you have not brought us clear evidence, and we are not ones to leave our gods on your say so. No, we are believers in you. Surah Hud, verse 53. The disbelievers accused Prophet Hud, peace be upon him, of being a crazy man. You have insulted our gods, and they have made you insane, said one of them. Prophet Hud, peace be upon him, followers could not accept the ridicules anymore. They asked Prophet Hud, peace be upon him to prove to the disbelievers that he was indeed a messenger of Allah. Prophet Hud, peace be upon him, 
prayed to Allah and asked him to destroy the disbelievers. Allah then sent down Angel Jibra'il to help the Prophet. Angel Jibra'il told Prophet Hud peace be upon him to take his foes on top of a hill where it would be safe for them. The disbelievers laughed when they found out that the Prophet and his followers were running for safety. Not long after that, the country was hit by a long drought. It did not rain for a very long time, and all the plants and animals started to die. The disbelievers were very worried, yet they still refused to turn to Allah. Prophet Hud, peace be upon him, told the disbelievers to pray to Allah and ask for his help. However, they ignored the Prophet and continued to mock him. One day, Allah gathered all the dark clouds together. The disbelievers were very happy when they saw the clouds in the sky. They started to cheer because they thought the clouds would bring them rain. Once it rained, the plants would grow and the animals would have water to survive. This would make all of them wealthy again. Do not be mistaken. The dark clouds are not here to give you rain. It is a sign of disaster. There will be a huge hurricane and it will destroy you and your co country, said Prophet Hood, peace be upon him. However, the disbelievers did not believe Prophet Hood, peace be upon him. They ignored him and continued to cheer for the rain. Don't listen to Hood and his crazy talk. Let us enjoy ourselves. It will rain soon and all our plants and animals will grow. We will be rich again, said one of them. And when they saw it, as a cloud approaching the valleys. They said, This is a cloud bringing us rain. Rather, it is that for which you were impatient, a wind within a painful punishment, destroying everything by the command of its Lord. And they became so that nothing was seen of them except their dwellings. Thus, do we recompense the criminal people. Surah al aqaf ver verse 24 to 25. Allah then sent down a light breeze to them. They were so happy and continued to enjoy themselves. They had forgotten all about the Prophet who would peace be upon him warning early on. Meanwhile, Prophet Hood, peace be upon him, and his followers continued to walk on top of the hill for safety. Suddenly, the light breeze turned into a strong wind. Lightning flashed and thunder roared in the sky, and soon it became a huge hurricane that destroyed everything that came into its way. The display was afraid and ran for safety. They hid in their houses and hoped that would protect them from the deadly hurricane. However, the hurricane destroyed all the houses and everyone in it. The hurricane destroyed all the houses and everyone in it. The storm buried the people of Ad and the city of pride on the sands. The hurricane lasted for eight days and seven nights. The entire country was destroyed and all the arrogant people of Ad died in the tragedy. Prophet Hood, peace be upon him, and his followers saw what had happened to the disbelievers. They feel, felt grateful that Allah had saved them from the deadly hurricane. And as for the people of Ad, they were destroyed by a screaming violent wind, which Allah imposed upon them for seven nights and eight days in succession. So you would see the people therein fallen as if they were hollow trunks of palm trees. Then, do you see any of them remains? Surah al haqqa verse 6 to 8 If only the disbelievers had repented and turned to Allah, they would have been saved from the terrible disaster. The hurricane had destroyed the entire country. Prophet Hood peace be upon him followers were shocked to see the destruction of their city. Nevertheless, they were grateful that they were saved. 
Father who'd peace be upon him asked his followers to move to another place and start a new life. Where are we going to? asked one of the followers. We will move to a place which will be told by Allah later, said Prophet who'd peace be upon him. After a long walk, they finally reached a country called Hadramut. We will start our new lives here, said Prophet who'd peace be upon him. Prophet who'd peace be upon him and his followers built their houses at the new place. They grew fruits, vegetables, and viewed goats and camels. They lived happily and peacefully because they always followed the path of Allah. It is believed that Prophet who peace upon him passed away at the age of 450 years old. He was buried on a hill about 50 kilometers away from Siwan city.